so hello friends so in this series of our power power query in excel we will learn about how to clean data in excel so we have a certain data here so if you will see your data so it have some unwanted value like in the date we have some text here in the units we have text and here in the sales we have text and beside that there are some like this uh, blank columns and rows these are some blank rows here are also blank rows these are also blank rows so if we have a data like this and this is our complete data and some of them are your duplicate data is also there so how we can clean that data in corporate world generally we'll get such type of data which is not clean and we have to clean that data and transform into a sheet from where we can do more analysis and we can find out report better way so if we have such data so how we can clean that so for that we have to open a new actual sheet control n so now we have one uh, open sheet and just close this and in this new sheet what we need to do we go here and then we will go to data and from data we will go to new query and from file we have to take that file but we have to close that file first so from Excel workflow data of cleaning is the name of a file so when we will click on that that file will ask multiple items so I will just select we only have a one sheet in that so we will click that so we have a complete data here here we can see now we have to transform that data so next step is to transform so first of all we have to open and then we have to new query and from workbook we will take this and excel workbook and then transform data now our power query editor will open so it will show the data in our power query editor here and uh, what is the benefit is like we have all the data here like salesman product uh, and all the things here so first of all we will see like what we need to do first of all we have will remove the duplicate from that complete data we don't need to duplicate data from here like if we will do it from here it have of no use otherwise all the duplicate data will be removed like suppose if I will do some like if you will select only the salesman and remove rows and I will say remove duplicates so our all data will be deleted and we only have a limited data here so better we will close this and what we need to do we click between our data anywhere in our sheet and press ctrl a from keyboard and all our data is selected now we will go to remove rows and first of all I want to show you key how much data we have before removing data so we have somewhere around 200 rows and columns so what we will need we have to close this and now I will select this and then I will go remove and remove duplicate so whatever duplicate columns are there so it include all column like salesman product date unit sales and all the detail details which are duplicate that will be removed and now we have only 192 earlier it was 192 200 so 8 are duplicate that is removed from this data now next thing we will do we have to find out uh, blank spaces in in this like if we have a blank like this is the blank space here and there are other blank spaces if we will find it so we have to remove that also so we have a data set is not a lot of data but when you will you work in a company they have very big seats so in that sheet you will find a lot of data so this is based just for example like how we will do that so whatever blank sheet will be there that will be removed so I will go there and select all data go there and remove blank row so all these are in the home tab and in the home tab you will find this remove blank rows so all blank rows will be removed and let's check it out like how much we data we have now so we have now 191 so our blank rows are deleted our duplicate data is also deleted now we have a data in sheet with some errors here 
like we, here we have a V, here we have BB which is not required and if we will go above our headings so like salesman is in a text format like it's a text format and here our product is also in a text format but our date is in alphanumeric this is called alphanumeric this is also alphanumeric this is alphanumeric but they need to be in number this need to be in date and this need to, these are okay these are numbers so they are showing okay so we have to change and that's because of errors we have made here like this error is there so that's why it's showing alphanumeric and similarly we have error here like ui in in our sales data so we have to change that for changing that what we need to do we have to convert this alphanumeric to first of all we will start from here from date because this is our first and then i will click over here right click and change type and just convert it into date format so now it is converted into date and it is showing error so this is our error so there are many ways to change uh, to convert this first way is like if you will select this column only and then go to transform or either in transform and here we have replace values we have replace error or replace values form is there beside that if you will go to home tab and and go to here also uh, there is a remove errors so we can even remove error from here so like if you will click on this our error will be removed but if we will remove that error the data or uh, that column data and that row data will be deleted so this is not the right way better is we just remove this and select this and then we will go to transform and from transform we will go to replace value and from replace error and in place of just generally in companies what we will do we will replace error we do not delete the complete data like a uh, complete column or row so we put uh, some date here like 1 1 2021 we put the date here and press ok so wherever there is error it will convert it into a date format so now it's in a date and then where we'll go here is also it's showing alphanumeric so again i will select this also right click from our uh, mouse then change type this is our unit so i will convert this into a number because all these are number so now it is converted into number i think it's taken a date so i will just change type to number whole number is the thing here so i will take it to replace current so it is converted into a number now what's the problem is there is also showing if you click over this it will show the reason for the for the problem uh, unit what is the problem like if you click over this and just see show data format error we couldn't convert to no, to a number we are because it is not going uh, going to convert it into a number it's a problem with our data so what i will do i will click over here unit then again i will go to transform replace value then i will go to replace error or in this place you can type any number i will type zero here nine or zero whatever i will type zero or according to your data set you can type anything number there and press ok so now that error is deleted so this way we can clean the data if we have a certain data if we want to clean that we can clean that similarly we have a problem here also this is also an alpha memory we can do this here also select this data right click change type to whole number so it will convert it and whatever problem is there it will show the problem here then what we need to do we again use the same thing we go to i will put some number there whatever number you like you can place replace error and i will put some number there like i will put some number there and press ok so in place of a uh, some number will be added so this is the way we have cleaned this and now we will go to home tab and close and load this file 
so we have clean data with us now and whatever changes we make in our first file that will be done in that file also like if I will open this file and put some data there suppose I will put some data here and I put some data and just drag this so we have certain data here I will just drag this also <coughs> and now I will just change this pro values also because otherwise value will be the same so it is no uh, there is no formula in this so this is our data now I will save this file after saving this file and I will go there and refresh this so now we have a new data added here so whatever change we will make in our source data that will change will happen in our power query editor generated table and this is the beauty of this power query so changes made it in our source data will be edited and formatted and display in better manner in our power query after cleaning that that's all from my side thank you